Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Welcome to Heavy Duty Fitness Barbell Squat Variations Volume 1. Today we're going to take you through the front squat, the back squat, and the zercher squat. Uh, we're going to go over technique and do's and don'ts. Stay tuned. So we've got the barbell back squat coming up next. So this is one of the big three lifts, uh, squat, bench, deadlift. So this is a main lift that's going to be something you're doing kind of over your whole workout career here, right? So it is good to learn this one quickly and it's learned one to learn and perfect over time. So with a barbell back squat, you're going to take the bar and it's going to be axially loaded onto your spine. So it's going to be a little bit tougher to load with weight uh, as you go up heavier. So we want to make sure that we're in the right spot to begin with. This is going to allow you to put a little bit more spinal records, a little bit more glutes into things. So it's a little bit more of a total lower body lift than say the front squat, which is much more quad dominant. It's still going to demand a lot of uh, range of motion at the hip, at the knee and at the ankle. So we want to make sure that you're warmed up for it correctly. And if there's any limiting factors that you're taking care of those previous to back squatting. So I'm going to show you how to get in here. There's a high bar back squat and a low bar back squat. I'm going to show you kind of a hybrid of the two of them today, okay? So we are going to find a position of the bar that your hands are comfortable, usually just outside shoulder width. The wider that you go kind of takes away that need for um, elbow and shoulder mobility. So I'll move up here. I'm going to slip under the bar and in a high bar back squat, it's going to be resting right on top of my traps. In a low bar, more power lifting back squat, it's going to be right on that kind of rear delt, lower trap muscles there. A high bridge is somewhere in there. That's a good spot to, to get used to it. Make sure that your hands are even. Looking up, stand up and unwrap that bar. Take a couple steps back. Find your placement here. And from here, you're going to have your feet pointed out of straight or toes angled out, depending on whatever's more comfortable for you. You're going to fill your stomach up with air. So, with the back squat, a couple things you want to look at is your stance is going to be kind of determined by how your hips sit. So my hips kind of tilt out a little bit more like this. So I'm going to tilt out my toes a little bit more and that's going to be really comfortable for me in comparison to some other people that are a little wider and have their toes angled straight. And that's going to depend on hips and what you kind of want to get out of it, right? So I'll tilt my toes out a little bit. And as I'm sitting into the rep, I'm going to drive my hips backwards to start that movement. And then I'm going to sit into it, driving my knees out as I come down to give my body space to slip through that groove that I've created in my knees here. So coming down, chest is still up, core is still braced, exploding up through my feet, squeezing my ass at the top of the movement. I'm trying to create torque in the hips and the glutes as I come down so I can shoot myself back up with heavy weights. So here, back up, squeeze. So that is the basics of the back squat. All right guys, so first up we have the front squat. Front squat is one of my favorite barbell squat variations. Uh, being taller and having a history of knee injuries, the front squat, it puts a lot less pressure on the knees and the back. Uh, it also requires a lot more core strength and it's gonna force you to have good form. You cannot cheat with a front squat, it's gonna expose you very quickly. With a back squat, you're able to get away with some bad form. If you lift too heavy with bad form in the front squat, you are just going to dump the weight. Because you have to remain so upright, there's less movement at the hips, okay? So you're gonna have a lot more quad as well. There's multiple different ways that you can do it. You can go fingers on the bar, elbows up, if you have the uh, shoulder mobility for that. If not, you can also go cross the arms, cross over like so, and you create that ledge right on your clavicle and on the front delt, where you can just pick the weight up, okay? Now, my arms, some people like to really grab on here and hold on to the bar. You shouldn't do that. You should be able to take your arms away and the bar doesn't go anywhere because you've got that ledge there so well. Okay, so you can remain like so. 
If you can't do the other variation, you're going to take a deep breath, keep that torso nice and upright, drop as low as your mobility will allow, drive through the floor, and a couple more. Now I'll show you the other grip. If you have the mobility required for it, this is a great uh, this is a great way to do it because it's going to allow you to progress into the Olympic lifts. If that's something that you want to do down the road. And same thing. Okay, there's the front squat. Okay, so next up we've got the Zercher squat. So um, this is an old school move, uh, front loaded at the elbow joint um, barbell squat here. So this is gonna demand a lot more of the glutes and the spinal rectors as you're gonna see you're gonna have to tilt over more forward instead of like a front squat or even a back squat. So you can put like a towel across here or a barbell pad if, if it bothers your elbows, but once you get used to it, it's, it's pretty good. There's two different ways that you can do it. You can either go, Crooks of the elbows, it's always going to be the same here with a forearm straight or tilt it around here. Um, whatever's more comfortable for you, it's not going to change the lift too much. So I will go into about here. I'm going to look at the knurling of the bar here, and that's probably about the spacing that I need for my elbows. So from there, right up against the ribs the whole time, it's not going to come off them because then it's going to dump that bar forward. I like to get my toes pointed out here, drive the knees out, and slip through. So, Zercher squat is going to be best suited again, like whatever your stance is going to be best for you to do a proper squat but you might find yourself needing to tilt the toes out to help drive the knees out so you can slide those elbows through there to get enough range of motion. And once again, the reason that you want to do the searcher squat, it's going to offer a little bit of spicier program, but it's going to hammer the glutes and hammer the low back erectors a lot more than other variations in the squat. That's the searcher squat. All right, guys, so there you have it. The back squat, the front squat, and the searcher squat. Thanks for joining us for volume one of squat variations. Stay tuned for volume two. We're going to show you some even more cool stuff uh, and just to keep you training hard and hitting those gains. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what we did that you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see next time. Again, help us help you. Adam? Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, yeah, like you said, just let us know what you like. It really helps us kind of grow our community and grow our channel and get to more people, uh, which is awesome. Exactly what we want. So thanks again. Heavy Duty Fitness out. We'll go over technique. Uh, do's and don'ts, and <laughs> go over technique and do's and don'ts. Stay tuned.